Now, a lot of you have been asking me on healthy ways on how to enjoy breakfast. Well, this time around, I get to show you how to do that with some cauliflower, broccoli, and mushrooms right here on this episode of Miss Mandy Throwdown. Now we're going to be making a cauliflower broccoli mushroom omelette that is going to be absolutely delicious. You've seen it on my Snapchat, now it's time for you to watch it and how I throw it down. So once you've diced up your broccoli and your cauliflower, you're just going to put them into your strainer in order to wash them and get rid of any extra dirt. Now we're going to leave them on the side just draining away of course. And then you're going to proceed to take about three mushroom heads. The bigger the better, you know how I like it big. Okay, we're just gonna throw four. Now, you're going to need a wet napkin in order to wipe them down. Mushrooms tend to retain a lot of water and you can easily just wipe out the dirt. And then once you've wiped them down, just go ahead and of course slice them. We're going to be using three eggs for this omelet. We're going to be adding in a splash of milk to activate the protein. So we're going to be beating the eggs with some coarse sea salt and some of my fireball. We're going to start things off by heating up a pan, then of course putting in our butter. Once the butter has melted, go ahead and add in your cauliflower and your broccoli. Now we're going to be cooking this on medium low heat. We're going to sprinkle in a little bit of salt, coarse sea salt. We're going to ground in some of our fireball. Then go ahead to add in your black pepper and some of your chili powder. Of course my favorite, garlic, which we're going to sprinkle a lot of. And we just want them to cook for about two to three minutes. Now we've been cooking um, the broccoli and the cauliflower for about two minutes now. I'm gonna throw in some butter. As the butter is melting, we are going to be adding in our mushrooms. We're just going to grind some more fireball onto the mushrooms and add a little bit of more garlic powder onto the mushrooms as well. Now once your mushrooms have cooked down for about a minute and a half, then add in your egg. Pour it strategically to of course fit into all your vegetables. And we're going to increase the heat just a bit back to medium low heat in order for the base to cook. We're just going to keep moving it in order for the excess egg to, of course, keep cooking. So while the egg is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. We're just going to be using the top. So we've been cooking the egg for about four minutes now. We made sure the bottom is settled and you can tell by, of course, being able to shake it and seeing that the bottom is being able to move. We're going to be adding some shredded cheddar cheese on top. If you do not like it cheesy, you can, of course, skip on this step. We added about two handfuls of cheese. Take it and then put it into the oven to, for the top to cook. It's been three minutes now. Our frittata is ready. Now it's easy to, of course, remove from the pan. Just lay it out. You're gonna take your knife or, of course, your pizza cutter. Go ahead and cut it into pizza slices. I'm pretty sure you have time to go through your phone, so you probably have seven minutes to spare in order to whip up something amazing for breakfast. You can whip up a cauliflower broccoli mushroom frittata in seven minutes. So why are you not doing that? I just showed you how, and I'm about to bite into this how. Before I do that, I just want to let you know that you need to, of course, subscribe, like, and of course, tag somebody that needs to throw down this frittata. Now for the best part. I keep saying someone should marry me, but you guys don't know about this. <laughs> 